Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Easy Concepts. Today I am going to demonstrate uh, how we can quickly upgrade from to the firmware upgrade on Aruba 5400R search. Aruba 5400R search is a modular search or you can say it's a medium sized modular search and it has the capacity of uh, two management modules or you can say supervisor module and six line cards. So with this, you can use any combination of line card like copper, fiber, 1G, 10G, whatever, whatever you want and what is your requirement. So let's start today. I will upgrade this, uh, this 5400 switch using the USB and uh, I have my new image in the USB and USB connected to the switch. So the good thing I like about Aruba uh, in perspective of firmware upgrade, first thing is it is very quick, does not take much time. And other good thing is if you see on the screen when I did show flag, it is showing me two images, primary image, secondary image. Okay, why it is like this? actually in by default if you take any aruba switch so it's configure it's, it's uh, like it's built up is like this it is running with two images okay or you can say it has one primary and one secondary image most of the time or by default a switch uh, came up or running the from the primary image and one another secondary image or the second image is on the backup if your primary image get faulty or has some bug or it is like anything it happens or get corrupt so you can easily switch to secondary image and your switch will start working so if you see here now at the moment my primary image is 11001 and secondary is also same and uh, if i do show version you can see here it's the image this one at it is showing me like it is boot from primary okay and uh, if i see my usb drive i have this new image which i am going to upgrade to and uh, this one is 0014 it's not a major elite it's you can say it's just a patch so let's start first we will copy the image to primary uh, to primary flash so yeah Just copy usb flash this and primary okay so with this command what this switch will do it will erase the previous image from the primary you can say primary storage or primary flash and it will copy the new image and the image size is also very small not much big one that's why it does not take much time so now my new image is getting copied on the primary flash and uh, it will remove the old one now let's do show flash now you see here on primary it is this one 14 and secondary it is still with 001 the older one why i put it like this so in case if i run into some issue with a new image i all i always have one you can say backup plan or backup image so to which I can quickly switch to and I can make my switch working again. So now image is copied and we need a reload. So the command is boot system flash primary. Flash primary. Yes. And now it will start installing the new image and will boot so here if you see it is giving us the option if we want to boot the primary or secondary by default it is primary selected 
and uh, other case i can switch to i can just press 2 and uh, switch to the backup image just initializing the new image decompressing uh, initializing done and here we go our switch is back we'll log in now if i see my switch is upgraded so you notice that it will it's maximum it took only five minutes or six minutes it's very quick and if I do show flash, so it's uh, the same setting. Primary is on the new image and secondary is the old image. And I will recommend, I will highly recommend to keep the settings like this uh, in future. If we plan to upgrade to, let's say, new image come, we plan to upgrade to 17.11.00 something. So what I'll recommend so to like copy the primary image to secondary and copy the new image to primary. So you should have uh, at least your second last image on the secondary to make it safer, safer for your operations. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Bye.